What's up, party people? This is another. You broke them. What's up, party people? So here's another episode of NFHN, and we're going to talk about the Joe Sackick home one. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen it yet, well, here it is. Back to 17. This was just a moment ago. Joe Sackick with an eight iron here at the par three. Uh oh. Yep. No. Yep. Come on. Yes! Oh! A million dollars! Come on! <laughs> How great is that? Did it go in? Yeah. He's still <laughs> not sure. Yeah. 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 Don't forget yeah. 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 it. Get excited. That's huge. <laughs> Tremendous. Well, that is uh, $500,000 to Joe Sackett, and $500,000 will go to Livestrong. The charitable giving just took a another level. <laughs> yes, it did for the former NHL All Star Center. So he done that for charity, but I just want to ask where's Matt Sundin on this? He hasn't won a Stanley Cup, he barely made it into the playoffs when he was on Toronto. So he had tons of time to practice, right? Right? That's funny. Maybe he wasn't a fan of golf. That's funny. Why are you guys laughing? There we go. Yeah, now it's funny. Yeah, it's funny now. Turn it off. off. It's getting annoying. Oh, yeah, shit. Shut up. It's not funny anymore. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. So the big question everybody had on their mind was, where is Steven Stamkos going to go? Everybody's like, come on, Toronto, sign him. Everybody wanted Toronto to sign him, but no. They wanted Philadelphia to sign him. They already did enough. They got Yager. You can keep Yager. And who else was it? I think it was Florida they wanted to sign him, but they did a lot already. And, well, he remains in uh, Tampa Bay with a five-year deal. I don't see why he would have went anywhere else. I mean, he did well. Yeah, they had Tampa. a good playoff run. And they had everything. a good playoff run, season run. I mean, he had it made. Why would he go anywhere else? Wait, walk away as I was continuing. <laughs> so the Tampa Bay Lightning were not done signing people back onto their team. They signed Purcell back for two years. Yeah, they gave him uh, $4.725 million. So for you guys that want to know, the money cost, the big moolah, he uh, got signed for $37.5 million for five years. He, That's a lot of money. Yes. Like, he's really sucking Tampa dry right now. And it's not, that's, that's not his whole salary either. No. He's got all these sponsors and... And Reebok, other, and uh, yeah. it's that's ridiculous. So the New Jersey Devils signed a new head coach, DeBauer, and we'll see what he can do in New Jersey. Can he change them around? Because they didn't do good last season at all. Nope. Yeah, that was that was a pretty bad season for the Detroit. <laughs> what? For the Jersey Devils. But there may be a bright side, but not really because what's going to happen to Martin Brodeur? He could retire in the next month. If he really wanted to, he could retire because he's getting up there in age, but not really. Like, not, I don't mean old. I mean up in age as in... In hot can't, years. Yeah, can't keep up with all the young guys because the young guys are, like, full of energy and then, you, I don't know, just energy-wise, not age. And uh, if he retired, who, who would be their main goaltender? They don't got any goaltenders, so... The New Jersey Devils really have to start looking out for goaltenders, so they got to keep that one in mind. What do you guys think? Should they keep looking? In, should they keep that in mind, or do you think the uh, Brodeur will stay another year? And Neil, I swear to God. So the Detroit Red Wings sign uh, Ty Conklin to a one-year contract to back up uh, Jimmy Howard. And I think that's just a, a test to see how good he is. They'll sign him if he's good. They'll and like I said in the last video, it was on the street rumors. It happened. And like I said, he's a starting goaltender. He is not a backup goaltender. So uh, I don't think Detroit has faith in Jimmy Howard because Osgood uh, was the main goaltender. But even though Jimmy Howard did play more games last year or last season, more than uh, Osgood did. But yeah, Ty Conklin's the one that they're going to, like Kenny said, they're going to test. So they're going to be like, if Jimmy Howard can't stand up to what he has to do, Ty Conklin's going to come in and take over. And he might just take over that one spot position. You never know, no. Yep. <laughs> Why said no? That's all from us here at NFHN. And in the last video, I asked, "Is Osgood a Hall of Famer?" And you guys said yes. So, in this uh, episode, I want to ask, do you guys think Broder is going to retire uh, in the summer of this year, which is right now, in the next month, or do you think he'll pull through for another year in the NHL? Say yes, Broder will pull through, and say no, I don't think Broder will push through. And remember to like and favorite. That really helps us out. It helps our community grow, and we want the NFHN, 
the purdy people grow and well also we have a Facebook and Twitter the links are down below our Facebook is uh, we have like 53 54 followers on, or likes on Facebook can we get that to a hundred let's see if we can get it to a hundred guys and the first person to uh, be our hundredth uh, like on there we'll do something special for you so look out for that and we'll see you in the next video